Man, I've had a couple pretty nice spotting devices uh, for my PRS shooting. And, you know, I think I finally found something that's going to fit the bill that's not as expensive as those other two. Hi everyone, it's the 4-Gun Guy. And today I wanted to talk to you about the Bushnell Forge 15x56 binoculars. I'm going to give you kind of the story of why I, uh, how I found these. And I'm going to talk about the other two spotting scopes that I had, the Meopta Mio Stars and the Leupold Gold Ring, which is right here. I've since sold the, the Mio Stars. And what I thought we'd do is uh, get my thoughts on all three of these, kind of as a comparison through my eyes. Then I want to do an unboxing. Now, I haven't done an unboxing on, on products in a while, but the way this comes packaged, I think, and the things that come with this uh, is pretty, pretty important. And I also want to do my comparison matrix. In fact, let's do the comparison matrix before the unboxing. And then when we get to that, you'll understand why I wanted to do an unboxing. Uh, I'm going to try to get some views on the range. Uh, I think I've got the setup now for my camera that can, can uh, uh, photograph or video through these things. I'll see if it's going to work. Hopefully it will. And then we'll have some final thoughts. So if you're ready to go, let's get started. Well, let's talk about the last two spotting devices that I had before I found these Bushnells. The first one was the Meopto Mia Stars, and I did a review on those. And look, they were really, really good uh, binoculars. Uh, I really enjoyed those. But I'm going to tell you what happened. I had eye surgery uh, earlier this year, and I got to tell you, after the eye surgery, those binoculars just didn't look the same to me. Uh, I couldn't get them to, to be focused for my eyes, and it could have been just because the eye surgery was so new, and my eyes were still getting used to, uh, you know, new lenses in them and, and whatnot but I just couldn't get used to it. Plus my wife, uh, who spots for me a lot when I practice, she had a hard time staying behind those. Now I never did, but she did. So uh, I thought about it and my buddy Jeff runs the Leupold uh, Gold Ring spotting scope. And I looked through that and I did like the idea of being able to zoom in to the target. Uh, so I got the Leupold Gold Ring. Well, the funny thing about that is the very first time we went to the range, my wife looks through this and she says, I like the binoculars better. So <laughs> uh, I decided that, okay, let's go back to some binoculars, but I'm not in any hurry, right? So I decided I was going to go to the, keep going to the matches, looking through everyone else's uh, uh, spotting scopes, seeing what's out there and whatnot, and we'll see if something pops up. Well, this last PRS match I had, I was on a squad and the gentleman had these, the Bushnell Forges. And I didn't even know what they were. I mean, I was just looking through them, spotting, and I was like, gosh, these things are just clear, clear as a bell, clearer than I remember my Meoptas being. And I just couldn't get over it. it the, the, everything was so vivid. Uh, so, and we were spotting out to, in that uh, match, we were spotting out to 850. And I even looked out at the 1,000 yard targets and I could see those very clearly through, through his Bushnell. So I asked him what they were and he told me. Came home, uh, looked them up, and I was shocked to find that they were only, uh, what, $600, $599. Uh, so I ordered a pair. So that's the story of how I kind of got to where I am with these. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the uh, comparison matrix now. Well, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on the matrix. It's pretty basic and pretty simple. Uh, I was looking at binoculars under $700 that had a 56 millimeter objective. So those were my criteria. I didn't want to come down off that 56 millimeter. And as you can see, I'll put this up on the screen. I only had two other options here. One was the Vortex. Uh, Diamondback, and the other one was the Athlon Optics Cronus. Cronus comes in as the at the highest at 670. 
then the Bushnell Forge, then the Diamond Back is like almost half price of those. So pretty good deal. And again, a lot of similarities between these two, so three, so I'm not gonna go through everything there. One big thing that kind of jumps out at me was the weight. So these are 51 ounces, whereas the Diamondbacks are 35-ish and the Athlons are 45. So I have a feeling <coughs> because I couldn't find out what the material was, uh, the frame material here, I have a feeling these are aluminum. Uh, so if they're aluminum, it's probably a little heavier than those magnesium uh, frames that the others are in. Uh, let's see, what else? Argon Purge, uh, warranties, 20 years in lifetime on the Athlon and Bushnell, of course, the famous Vortex lifetime, anything goes on the Vortex. And then the last thing I just want to talk about here is what comes in the box. So if you look at the Bushnell, we get the tripod adapter and the harness, uh, the soft case, a hard, semi-rigid case, which you'll see here in a minute. And the Vortex has the tripod adapter and it has a case harness as well. So that's pretty interesting for 350 bucks that they'll throw those two things in there. And then the Cronus just has a hard case, but it does not have a tripod adapter, which could run you 50, 60, 70 bucks uh, if you get a good one. And it does not have the uh, binocular harness if that's important to you. So that could be something else that you're going to have some money on. So again, quick run through on these and uh, let's get to a quick unboxing and I'll show you what this thing looks like. All right, comes in a nice box. Uh, flip it up. Have some marketing stuff in there. Move that aside real quick. I like how compact this is, so it's not like it's in a big, uh, big bulky box. Now this is the semi-rigid uh, cover that it, that comes with it. I love this thing. It's got uh, hooks here that you could uh, put some straps through if you want to tote it around that way. It unzips, and then it has all the accessories right up in here. Uh, so we've got the uh, harness that we were talking about. We've got the tripod mount. That is a very nice tripod mount, by the way. This is aluminum, uh, so very nice. Uh, we've got the straps and then some other stuff. We've got some hex bolts, and then this is the, uh, I think this is the, uh, the strap for the, um, for the lens covers there. And then you've got the cleaning cloth here. So really nice. And then the binoculars themselves, fit very nicely in there. I like that because I throw this in my uh, in my shooting box. And I can just keep throwing it in there. And they come in this little bag and then here they are. This is a beautiful pair of binoculars, guys. It's uh, it's really nice. So here they are. Uh, they've got, of course, the focus. And this is buttery smooth here. I mean very smooth. And then you've got the right lens focus, which again is very, very smooth. It does come with the uh, lens caps on the back and the front. The thing I like about the fronts are they are just connected. So I'm not worried about losing these things. The other thing I like about this is that if you see here, they actually just come through some loops. So if these things break off or I do happen to lose one, I can just reorder them. It's not a piece that's some of these binoculars have these things that are kind of manufactured into the binocular and when it breaks off it's just broken off and now you're you're out of luck but again beautiful pair of binoculars uh, let's take these out to the range and let's see if we can get some views through these so uh, i'm hoping this this uh is working these are through the binoculars this is 500 yards um, I can't really go out much further because I don't know how clear this is going to be. Like if I look at the plate rack out at, uh, this is 850, that's pretty close. And now I'm going to try to focus the camera. That's not bad. Um, but look, you're, you're, you've got the blurriness on the outside just because of the way the camera's set up. 
Uh, but I can tell you, let me just let go of the tripod and let it just sit there. A little bit of a breeze blowing. But uh, these are just really, really clear. I'm, I'm really loving the, the sharpness of them and the clarity and the brightness. The brightness, I think, is the thing that surprised me the most. Let's, uh, let's get back to the shop. Well, guys, quite a journey for my spotting devices. So, uh, you know, let's recap. I had the Meoptas, I went to the Leupold, and now I've got these Bushnell Forges. I am thinking these are it. So I think these are going to be the last set of binoculars or spotting devices that I'm going to need. Uh, I love these things at a third of the price of those other two. That was a, I was just shocked that after I looked through these at that match, I came home because I was expecting another $1,500 pair of binoculars. Came home, looked them up on uh, Optics Planet is where I got these through, and they were $600. Bucks. And with everything, remember, with everything you get with these, it's a pretty darn good deal. Um, so there you have it. Uh, the Bushnell Forge 15 by 56 binoculars. Hey, I want to thank you all for watching, the comments, the subscriptions, the likes. I've got some other stuff in the works here. I'll put it on the screen, and uh, hopefully I'll have that stuff out uh, in the near future. But until next time, everyone, shoot straight.